Manchester United has more fans than any other English club and inspires huge devotion. But one man took it to a new extreme. In 2001, Carl Power appeared in almost every newspaper in the country. And all because of an audacious prank. The well-known man about Manchester sneaked into the United lineup for a photo just before a crucial Champions League game in Munich. The infamous hello, Carl hello, Power. I'm doing, I'm doing, all right. Very well. Yeah, so, Carl, what does United mean to you? I've grew up into a family of Reds, so it means everything. You know, look at it, Theatre of Dreams. There it is. But this boat is about as close as we can go because Carl's not the club's favourite fan. And it all began with this picture. This is the one in Bayern Munich, the, um, okay. the Champions League. But as you see, I'm still on the pitch side there. Carl planned the whole thing right here with his mate Tommy Dunn. I was videoing United for years, so I seen many team photographs, so I knew that it was open for a stunt. They travelled out to Munich disguised as journalists. Carl wore an away strip under a tracksuit which would be whipped off at the last moment and he would join the team. The plan had one essential ingredient, bravado. In the stadium, got in a lift, down on the pitch side, walked on the pitch. When you show a bit of authority, when you've got the, the front with it. Bit of conviction. No one That's questions good. that. That's it. Carl stood next to me and he knew that as soon as I say go, he goes. And I'm watching the, the players shaking the other team's hands. And then when Andy Cole shook their last player's hand, I just said to him, go. Just took his top off. Bottoms off and walked. Military timing, wasn't it? It was perfect timing. Military man. As I walked to that lineup, it, the adrenaline rush was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And did anyone say anything? No, no. Gary Neville pointed, and I just said to him when I put my chest out, shut it, I'm doing it for the shut it, you grass, I'm doing it for Cantona. <laughs> but had Carl played his part a little too well? He walked back to me, and then I, I, I looked around and I said, no one's seen that. Mm. No one's seen that. It seemed the boys' efforts had been in vain, but one eagle-eyed photographer helped the story go global. When Sean Botterill spotted the imposter, he knew he'd struck gold. How you doing? How you doing? All good. So tell me, when did you first realise that something was a bit off? I was, I was getting ready to photograph the team group, and I, I sent some guy walking past me and just looked slightly out of place to what would normally be going on. Sean knew the demand for this one shot would be huge. That was the days of film, so we had a, had a wire technician with me, so he processed the film. I'd, you know, I'd said to him, look, believe it or not, you need to send the team group really early. The next day, the story exploded. Dominating the front pages, the imposter is believed to be Carl Power from Manchester. He managed to pose with the Manchester United team. Sean hasn't seen Carl since Munich. Now the one show is staging a rematch. So you were a man on a mission, weren't you? you knew yeah, exactly what you I, I, I was just tunnel vision right to that. When Andy Cole's shot the hand, boom, that's all I had in mind. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, nice one. He's yeah. a bigger legend than it's me. Nice one for you having that picture, that was cool. Man. Now with a taste for the limelight, Carl staged a string of stunts. Later in 2001, he strolled out to bat at an England cricket match. The following year, he gate-crashed the winner's podium at the British Grand Prix. He even played a few volleys of tennis at Wimbledon before being ejected. Then at Old Trafford in 2003, Carl pulled his biggest stunt yet with 10 other Man U fans, staging a tribute to a stunning goal by Diego Forlan earlier in the season. We recreated that on the pitch at Old Trafford three minutes before kickoff against Liverpool, which okay. was good. And did people love it? They loved it, yeah. But yeah. Security, not so much? No, they didn't like it at all. <laughs> a Reds fan from birth, Carl found himself banned from the theatre of dreams. Do you have any regrets? No, do I? I think every one of them was just good fun, that's mm -hmm. all it was. I'd do it all over again. But, you know, just to prove we could do it, that's what we've done it for. Today, Carl is trying to bring fame to others, running a recording studio and managing a band, the Backhanders. So, no more stunts then? I've retired from all them, for now. For now? Yeah. On hold? On hold, yeah. Okay. Watch this face. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Ah! Oh, that's who that guy is! Sitting sense. there demurely, yeah. the Living myth, the legend, legend the yeah. legend, <laughs> Carl. Legend, We're all just Carl. standing in here just going, what a legend. <laughs> Brilliant, Carl. Um, now, it is the FA Cup 
final tomorrow, yes. Man United versus Crystal Palace. Have they got anything to be worried about? No, I have taken my son to football in the morning in Manchester, so I'll be watching it in the nags head after the, after the football. In I think. the nags head. <laughs> Canole, that's pretty method of him acting-wise. Are you impressed with his... Uh... I, I just can't understand the accent, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I have an accent, but that's it. No, it's incredible. I, yeah, that's... Well, brilliant. Carl, that was yeah. amazing to watch. Congratulations to you and uh, security. Uh, please take him away. Uh, he's getting crashed our studio today. We had no idea he was going to be here. Thank you, Carl. He's such a nice look. He's well. like, all right, all right, all right. He's so used to it. He's so used to it. Yeah, exactly. He's used to it. Yeah. Well, yeah.